Oh, you're, you're awake now? It's all good? Okay. All right. Good? Hi, everybody. I'm back again, and I'm going to show you about hinging photographs to board. So, um, I'm going to show a number of different hinges. I'm hoping that this segment is broken up into very small videos, and I'm hoping that nobody's being too distracted. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, a basic T-hinge, first of all, and I like how the camera's moved, in case everybody at home hasn't noticed. Okay, so I'm showing this just on a very crude sample photo, and I'm using Tyvek tape. You can use, uh, there are different types of hinging tapes available. They're made out of, uh, they're sometimes made out of Japanese tissue. I like Tyvek, I think it's a decent material to use, but again, that's my preference. Okay, so for a T-hinge, again, it's very, very straightforward and simple. Um, so it's essentially two pieces of tape and they're crossed over to make a letter T. So um, I'm gonna start, this piece is kind of long and I'll just do one hinge on, this is a small piece. Essentially, if you had a larger piece, I would do at least two hinges, if not three, across the top. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit, make it a bit narrower for the sake of this demonstration. So I have my piece of tape and again, I guess I should start that when, you, when you're placing your object, hopefully you have a weight on it or you know exactly where it wants to be and you don't want to move it, so that makes a big difference. But because this is just an example, I'm just going to place it on. Okay, so the first piece of tape goes on like so. You can, if you want to do this upside down, you could. It really doesn't matter. I'll just demonstrate upside down. But if you, if you feel confident and just want to sort of insert it under as it's, as it's upright, that's another, so again, you have to weight it, insert the tape, and then it's fine. So again, another technique is just to take the piece of tape. You can put it on. Ideally, you, you want to be careful of how much tape you put on your object. Again, this is a reproduction. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to put it, I don't know, half an inch down or so. But again, it all depends. If you want to be more careful, you would have put less, but then you're going to have less adhesive on your object. So you may put your tape on. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to use another piece of tape. This one's a little bit wider or narrower, excuse me. I'll trim this down. It's just because it's a little bit long. Again, I'm just demoing. If you were really doing this, you wouldn't pick up the piece part way. That would be bad. So again, you'd put your tape on, you'd weight it down and then I just use a cross piece over top. And that essentially keeps it in place. And then if you're window mounting it, you won't see this hinge. So it's, it's pretty clear. Okay? 